Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'm going to be testing out a new nail product from Korea. This is the Ohora Semi Cured Gel Stickers. Now you guys know that I love nails. It's one of my like hobbies and I guess passions. And so I've been going to nail school. I've been doing like a diploma course and I thought that, you know, going to nail school, I'd have pretty nails, but it's actually the opposite because I'm always practicing on myself as well as my classmates. We practice on each other. And so this is probably the longest that I've had bare nails, like no gel color, no extensions, nothing. And so when I saw this on Instagram, the Ahura Semi Cure Gel, I was really interested because this is not your average like gel nail stickers. It's a little bit different because with these, you actually need a little LED lamp to cure these because as it says on the box, it's semi cured. And so this actually makes your nails a little bit harder as well. And it's supposed to be like, longer lasting and from what i've seen through the videos and their photos it actually looks like you've gone and got a professional gel manicure done but you can do it yourself so let's try it out i got this red design that comes with like a little stone so it's got like a jewel there i believe this is called the adela nails I think I got this online for, um, I think $25, this is Sing Dollars, but I did see that they have a US website and their designs range from about $11 up. So let's just open it up. So it comes in this black plastic box. So here is one of the set of nails and then under this is the other sheet and an extra sheet hmm. then we have like the little wooden stick for your cuticles a little nail file and two alcohol swabs to clean your nails with now at first glance you might think that it looks like your regular gel nail stickers that you can get but notice how these ones on the left, these are actually packaged in just like a clear plastic, whilst the Ohora ones were in a black container. So this blocks out the UV light. These are actually made with gel polish and they're cured to 60%. And so you have that flexibility and you can wrap it around your nails, making sure it fits. And then you would use the light to cure it completely. Whereas these gel stickers, they're actually already 100% cured and they've just got a layer of adhesive that you can stick on your nails. This one doesn't give you the strength and um, it doesn't look as professional as the Ohora ones. Also, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but the edges of these ones are a little bit thinner and the gel is more concentrated in the middle. And so it gives you that sort of illusion that you did actually get your nails done at the salon because the thickness actually tapers off around the edges. So in the set that I got, there's 30 nail strips with 15 different sizes. And because I got the gem one, it came with an extra um, eight protection strips. I don't know if you can see this. They're just clear and transparent and help to protect your nails before putting the gems on. And this is what my nails are currently looking like. There's no product on them. They've been naked like this for a while and it just feels so weird not to have anything on my nails. But today we're gonna change that. So first off, I'm going to shape my nails, give them a quick file to get an even shape. Since my nails are short, I'm kind of limited to what shape I could do. So I'm gonna stick with like a square oval, a squoval shape. Then I'm going to use the alcohol swab to remove any oil off my nail beds. So I just need to make sure that I thoroughly cleanse my nail bed. You don't want any oil or product on your nails because that's going to affect the adhesion of the gel strips. And now I just kind of need to size up my nails. On the sticker here it does show you that this is the cuticle line, so this is at the bottom. That's the bottom as well, so just make sure you get the direction correct 
Okay, I'm gonna start off with my pinky first. I wanna pick a size that I think will fit from sidewall to sidewall of my nail, and I think maybe this one will be good. So there's actual film on top of it for each one, so I've just peeled that off. And then I'm gonna peel the gel off. And then I'm gonna place the sticker close to my cuticle. I think I just realized this is a bit too small. See how I have a little gap here, actually on both sides? So that is actually too small. I'm gonna pick another size. Let's go with the one next to it. I think it's a little bit hard to judge, especially when your nail's a bit, you know, curved. So just line up with my cuticle, just press the side down. Okay, so this side is looking good. It fits to this side wall. Now with this part, I kind of feel like it's not going to reach my side wall, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and stretch this gel a little bit so that it reaches my side wall. So that's a lot better. And then I'm just gonna give my nail a little rub just to make sure that that's all sticking on well. Okay, so that's looking good. Obviously, it's a little bit too long, so I need to adjust um, the length of this just by trimming it. I'm actually gonna fold it down first, push it against the free edge of my nail to leave a mark. And then I'm going to grab my little scissors and just chop off the excess. You can also use your nail clippers for this. Okay, it's looking a little bit jagged, but I think after I cure it, it's going to harden up so I can actually go in and file it. So let's go ahead and cure one first. Oh, my lamp is just so dirty. But I have like a similar one that they sell on their website. But mine's a lot cheaper. I think mine you can get online for maybe $5 to $10. Whereas their one, they're selling for $18 for this little mini um, lamp. So, you can find cheaper ones. This one you can plug into like a little um, portable charger because it uses a USB port. So on the website, it's recommended to cure one to three times under the UV lamp. So I guess like one to three minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then let's see how the gel feels. I'm actually gonna pop that little um, strip that I tried earlier that's too small. I'm gonna cure that to see what happens to it afterwards. Alrighty, so my nail is cured and so has this strip and actually I can actually feel that it's just gone hard. So before it's cured, it's actually quite flexible. You can bend it and shape it. But now afterwards, it's actually like hard. It's still a little bit bendy, but it's definitely um, a lot harder once it's cured. Okay, so the next step, I'm just going to file that little rough jagged edge away. And I'm pretty much done with this finger. Now, obviously when you're doing it yourself, you can do like your whole hand and then cure it. So I'm just gonna do the same with the rest of my nails. I'm going to size them up. Oh, one thing I just noticed, be careful when you're like stretching out or applying the gel. My nail kind of dug into this one. So you can kind of see that it's left a bit of like a ridge or a nail mark there. So if you want like a flawless application, just be careful not to like dig in um, the gel whilst it's not cured because it's gonna leave a mark. For my middle finger, I'm going to apply the gem. And so I've popped on the gel layer that's um, for protection. Once I'm done with sizing and sticking the strips on, I'm going to cut the excess off and then cure that under the light for three minutes. If you're using a little lamp like mine, I suggest you hold your fingers like this and then place the lamp over it. That way your thumb gets cured properly. Oh, it's a little bit hot. If you have sensitive nail beds or thin nail beds like mine, you might feel a little bit of a heat spike. If you do feel that, pop your hand out of the light for a couple seconds and then place it back into the lamp. The heat spike should only happen once. Another thing you could do if it's hot, you could just press your fingers against the table to just kind of like release that heat and then pop it back into the light. Alrighty, the gel 
has been cured and actually as it was curing I can kind of feel like the sides hardening up and kind of almost like wrapping around my nails so it actually feels like a little bit thicker and harder as well which I like because my nails are so thin from all that nail practice and acrylic that I've been doing on them so now that the gel has hardened I'm actually going to just shape up and get rid of those jagged edges for my middle finger I still have to apply the gem on top so I'll do that afterwards I think you're supposed to cure it and then apply the gem it kind of just makes sense like that because you know you want to cure each layer okay so I'm done with filing them I'm going to apply the little stone now on my middle finger okay this strip does feel a little bit thicker I guess because you know there's a stone on it and they had to secure it somehow so they must have used more gel Ooh, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong maybe I'm supposed to cut the stone out or something but this is like not bending to my nail or maybe I've just have a, a nail that's too small hold up I need to troubleshoot this okay I just checked the instructions and it says that your nail should be the size of a little USB drive and I think my nail is just that size so I feel like the gem should fit let me just try again I'm just gonna press down on the gem first and then maybe just use this cuticle stick to stick down the sides it wasn't folding down before but I think with this technique it actually helps it adhere better okay I think I've got it down now I'm just going to cut off the extra length and then I'm just gonna do one more press around the sides and then pop this under the light that's been cured now and it actually feels like pretty intact it feels pretty secure I'm gonna quickly do my other hand now now some tips when applying the gel strips when you're peeling off the strip itself peel from the side that you're actually going to cut off so not from the cuticle line the other side where the free edge will be just in case your hands are a little bit oily or you know you've got some moisturizer on or any sort of residue that could stick and make the adhesive less tacky or less sticky so peel from that side because you're going to cut it off anyway also i found it easier to just place down the sticker as close as I can to my cuticle line and then just try to stick down one side first so try to align it with one side wall and then just gauge if you need to stretch out the other side or if it's actually going to fit perfectly so you just stick the other side down after also because I'm working with my non-dominant hand instead of using my scissors to cut away the excess I just folded down the excess sticker and then just use my little file to file it away and I think that actually works a little bit better also another important tip is to keep the stickers away from the lamp like especially the ones that's still on the paper that you haven't used keep it away from the lamp because you don't want the light curing those and ruining them so you want to save them for later um, and make sure that you know the ones that you have left over you store back in the box away from direct sunlight so i'm done with my right hand i think i did a pretty good job there are like some minor mistakes or just like little bits that i noticed could be improved for example my thumb i i used the bigger size and i tried to stretch it over a little bit but it doesn't really meet my side walls so I feel like if it was to lift up you know if I wash my hair or something and it gets caught around here this nail would sort of lift up a lot faster same goes for my middle finger I didn't stretch it far enough so there is a little bit of a gap in my pinky as well so I feel like if you want a perfect fit um, you kind of have to take your time with this you know try to stretch it over to meet your side wall but I think you know it's my first time doing it so next time I know also another thing I noticed is that I think maybe I got some alcohol on some of these nails and so you know when I was 
prepping this hand alcohol may have touched this side and so there's some sides that's gone a little bit matte and less shiny i don't know if you can tell but i can actually see it because you know i'm very pedantic with my nails so that's just another thing to keep in mind maybe you have to sort of like do both hands with the alcohol swab so just swab both hands first and then try not to touch your face or touch anything after um, to get any like oil or moisturizer or anything on your nail beds that way you can avoid this from happening oh i'm so happy i have nails on again honestly i feel like these are pretty cool i feel like they're probably the best sort of like gel sticker um, product on the market. Much better than the usual sort of ordinary um, nail stickers. I feel like because when I wear these ones, it actually makes my nails feel stronger. Whereas this one, it kind of doesn't really add any additional structure, but they do have lots of like cute and pretty designs, especially the Korean brands. I would say the Ahura gel um, stickers, they're sort of like a merge between like normal stickers and like press on nails because you kind of, you know, you get that structure. It actually feels like you've got like proper gel polish on. The only thing is I feel like the sizing, you know, when it comes to stickers or press ons, the sizing can be a little bit tricky. And, you know, if your cuticles aren't like the same shape as the sticker, you might have to customize it a little bit. So that's where it kind of gets a little bit tricky if you have like, you know, one nail that's a bit more square than the other. Now, I believe these should last around two weeks. Um, I don't know how long mine will last. And honestly, I don't know if I'll keep on them for that long because. I'm going to nail school and so we practice on each other so maybe i'll have it on for a week or so but you know follow me on instagram i'll keep you guys updated if i do end up wearing for that long but you know what these are great if you just want to do your nails at home maybe you have an event coming up and you like have no time to go to the salons or you know covid you know some salons aren't you know taking that many um clients or maybe you can't even like go outside and you want to do your own nails i feel like this is a really good option because it feels sturdier though you do need to purchase a lamp the one on the website like i mentioned is a little bit expensive so just like search for like a cheaper alternative i feel like it kind of does the same thing anyway the real magic is in the actual semi cured gel itself so they have lots of designs i think i'm definitely going to add more to my cart I'm actually really impressed with even like the jewels because you know these they can be quite flimsy but this feels very very secure the only thing is I wish like my thumb I, I wish there was a little like a bigger size this one was a little bit harder to stretch because it had the jewel on top whereas with the other just like the one color normal strip you can stretch them because it has that flexibility so keep that in mind I'm actually really impressed and i would highly recommend it and it was pretty quick to do i feel like once you've got the steps down packed you can probably do this in like 15 20 minutes i know i think i saw on the website you can do it in 10 minutes but look you're gonna cure each hand for three minutes and that's six minutes gone already and so unless you can do like the whole like sizing and cutting it and filing in like a couple of minutes I feel like maybe 15 to 20 minutes is more realistic and it's super easy to do. So you don't have to have any like crazy nail tech skills to do this. It's very simple. It's probably the closest thing you can get to a professional gel manicure at home without, you know, without actually applying gel polish. This is one week after. I thought I'd give you a quick update and show you guys how I remove these gel nails. The gel nails didn't lift at all but as it grew out i can kind of feel like my hair kind of gets stuck onto the edge here where the cuticle area so that's why i'm removing it i'm going to take them off using an orange wood stick and some cuticle oil i'm just going to slowly lift up the gel and then pop some cuticle oil underneath to help dislodge the glue and then i'm just going to slowly lift the gel away from my nail bed it's actually quite easy to remove you do need a little bit of force but i feel like with the orange wood stick the little sharp corner is efficient enough 
And you can see that my nail bed still looks good. It doesn't look damaged or anything. Anyways, that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Also, I hope you guys are doing well. You're keeping safe. This year is like super weird for all of us, but I hope my content has been keeping you entertained. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on it. Blah, 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 blah. So you don't miss out on any awesome videos I post. Shameless plug. Anyways, that is it for me, guys. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Show off my new pretty nails. Let's do spirit fingers. Spirit fingers.